so one of the things that I learned uh, throughout this process was in organizations, if you have consultants and you bring in consultants in your business, if you do consulting work, you provide services, what does that mean when you go in, you provide your services and you're done and then you leave? I, I reminded me of a story that I learned long ago, probably in the mid-90s, uh, a person I work with named Roy told me a story of a company called Scandinavian Airlines. And Scandinavian Airlines, with a, a specific issue they had with customer service. So who in the room has actually heard this story? Who in the room has heard the story from me? <laughs> yeah. So Scandinavian Airlines was a huge airlines back in the 70s and 80s, and they had huge issues with customer service. They wanted to be able to make a determination of what people thought of the airlines when they flew on the airlines, so they did a survey. They did 60,000 surveys, and they broke it up into 30,000, and then into another 30,000. The first survey let everybody on board, handed out 30,000 surveys. They asked 30 questions, looking for answers to only four, and the questions were, and you guys ask questions differently to get the same uh, response, the cleanliness of the airplane, the cleanliness of the bathroom, the competency of the pilot, and the mechanics of the engine collected the survey, airplane took off. Now they did the second survey, another 30,000 surveys. Same exact questions, but they did one thing different. They took a cup of coffee, pretend this is coffee, for you creative minds out there, Tanya. They dipped it in coffee, they lowered down the third tray, put the coffee on the third tray, moved it away, let the little ring dry, and then put the tray away. Was it right here? Okay. Would, wouldn't want to piss you off. No. <laughs> Collected the survey and the air, air, uh, airplane took off. Uh, so the, the, the questions they asked again were the cleanliness of the airplane, the cleanliness of the bathroom, the competency of the pilot, and the mechanics of the engine. On the third row back, same exact questions. Collected the survey, airplane took off. First survey came back, airplane was meticulously clean, bathrooms were very clean, pilots were overly competent, and the mechanics of the engine were above average. Second survey, 30,000 of them, third row back, where the little coffee stain was. Airplane's dirty, the bathrooms are dirty, the pilots are incompetent, and the mechanics of the engine are substandard. Remember when I said when they collected the survey, before the airplane took off? Nobody saw the bathrooms, nobody saw the pilots, and no one saw the engine because you hadn't even backed out of the gate yet before the airplane took off. So understanding that when these people got into the airplane, they lowered down their tray, they got this survey, and they saw this little coffee stain. And if you can't keep this coffee stain off my tray, clearly you have dirty bathrooms, incompetent staff, and you can't keep your engines clean. So my challenge to you both personally and professionally is to know where your coffee stains are. <laughs>